What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. So, <laughs> this is kind of mad still. Deontay Wilder has fully lost his head after getting punched up by Joseph Parker. Check this out. Oh, stop. Deontay Wilder has insisted that he still wants to fight AJ next, but said... AJ will use <laughs> the Joseph Parker defeat to avoid him. Oh no. This guy lost it, people. He's only gonna lost his head. It's so kinda of like ironic that kinda of Anthony lost his head you are. Was the moniker now? I'm not gonna use that anymore. I'm not gonna sit here and say Anthony lost his head you are. No, because we've seen some signs. I'm a fair guy. I'm not a hating house dude. Yeah? We saw some signs that AJ's head has not been fully lost, so he's lost that name now. However, Deontay, how can we say it? Deontay lost his header. No, Deontay lost his head. Eh? Lost his head. Tay Wilder. How about that? <laughs> lost his head. Tay Wilder. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's read out the quotes here. Unbelievable. They don't really want that fight. When I lost, did you see how happy he was coming out? I broke out laughing. I said, that Nick, happy than an mf -er. I made him able to perform like that. Wow. He was like, I ain't gonna fight Wilder. The rumor was he was talking about retiring if I won. March 9th, the fight can still go on. But this is a perfect way for them to get out. So, where do we even start here, people? They really don't want that fight. When I lost, did you see how happy he was? Bro, all due respect here. Okay, Wilder lost. AJ has been chasing this fight for genuinely six years. You lose. Don't forget, people, AJ arguably, AJ, well, not arguably, AJ wanted... Deontay Wilder, when he was still popping, still dangerous. I think it was around the time, yeah, AJ was begging, before the Andy Ruiz won fight, AJ was literally on the phone two days before begging Fury and begging Wilder. I believe shortly before that June 2019 fight of Andy Ruiz, Wilder had knocked out Brazil in one round, right? And AJ went in with Brazil uh, before that in 2016, I think, and it took him seven rounds. So... Wait a minute, AJ's begging for Wilder, who's looking super dangerous. I believe he'd beat Ortiz twice by then. He'd knocked out Brazil in better fashion than AJ. So AJ's begging for that fight then. Now he sees Wilder, and let's not forget people that, did AJ knock Joseph Parker out? No, but he dominated him. AJ boxed Parker in such a fashion, and by the way, AJ boxed Parker in a fashion where it was kind of like, Joseph Parker at the time was undefeated. AJ popped, undefeated Joseph Parker's cherry. So a much more formidable, at least theoretically speaking, opponent, or sorry, Joseph Parker, AJ beat and dominated. Wilder goes in there with Parker who's been knocked out. Joe Joyce, who's slow, mollywopped. Joe Parker all around the ring, right? So, Wilder's getting in here with all... I mean, uh, that's a scary thing here. The scary thing here is... Joseph Parker's been looking washed. Until he got in there with Wilder. Wilder made Joseph Parker look like... A knockoff Mike Tyson kind of thing. Just, he, he was just on the ass. In fact, Joe Parker was on, dude. Long-legged basketball player having ass. In fact, all over it. Yeah? So AJ, AJ dominates a prime undefeated Parker. Wilder goes in there gets smoked by a dude who been smoked. I mean, I like Joe Joyce, but Joe Joyce is slow, right? Wilder's supposed to... Well, he, Wilder is quick. Wilder ain't land a glove, all due respect. I've seen Joseph Parker go in there. With, in his last few fights, he's looked rough. I've seen Parker come out of them fights, and his face is touched and all sorts. Them man put on a better performance, truth be known. Wilder's last three, oh sorry, Joseph Parker's last two or three fights have been more competitive than the one Wilder put on. And you're trying to sit here saying, oh, he's so happy that I lost. How does that make sense? 
Why would AJ be happy that he's lost a fight that he's wanted for six years? If anything, he's unhappy. Because it's like, if Joseph Parker, all due respect, if Joseph Parker can outbox Wilder, there's no reason AJ couldn't have done. Especially with some aggression. Who knows, he may have even clipped Wilder. We know Wilder's chin ain't all that. There was a few times in the fight, Joe Parker was on the ass. Had him on the ropes, all, all like this. All, this no, fair play to Wilder. He took his licks, but he took his licks against who? Joe Parker's not a massive knockout guy, right? Joe Parker ain't even knock out Dillian White, in that sense. So it's it's the peak of delusion here. And I actually, look, I've, listen, me, Carl Froch, many other people have clowned AJ, oh, Wilder, knock him out in one round, oops. It just goes to show that boxing, like most sports, are just random. You can't do a maths game on it. Because I would have bet, in fact, I did bet, Joe Parker was going to get knocked out expeditiously. Oops. So, it's one of them ones. But the reason I say that is to say, Wardle, where are you coming from here, mate? Where's your angle here? i tell you the angle. The angle is, Wilder begging for this fight. He begging for this fight to cash out. He know, he, I mean, I've got videos coming soon. Wilder himself admitted he didn't really want this no more. And that's what it looked like. And I respect Wilder, to be fair. Wilder's come out and admitted, he, I don't really want this no more. So it's kind of ironic how things have changed in that sense. I believe six months ago, AJ was begging for this fight for similar reasons. Or at least theoretically speaking. Theoretically speaking, we all believed AJ's finished, he's lost his head, and now he wants to... I think I even said it. I think Carl Foch said it. Carl Foch said, yep, AJ wants to get paid 50 mil to get knocked spark out by Wilder in one round. Now it's kind of like... I mean, listen to the guy. There's no way he's actually seriously saying these things. And the bottom part gives it away. Oh, please, Daddy. Please, Anthony Joshua, put me on, Daddy. Look, March 9th. The fight can still go on. It's, but this is the perfect way to get them out. Oh, stop, Wilder. Stop trying to... Just call it spare spade. The spade is... AJ, Daddy, put me on. Yeah, that's the play Wilder... That's the angle Wilder going on here. Oh, I look bad to, to, to lure him out. This is embarrassing, Wilder. Yeah, don't do this. Don't do this. Please don't. Just admit you. Lead with what you led with. I'm finished. I. My name is Deontay. Sorry. My name is Lost His Head Tay Wilder. My name is Lost His Head Tay Wilder. And I don't want this no more. And hence, Daddy put me on. Because AJ right now is Wilder Daddy, in my opinion. RYB, you flip flop. I'm just going bait. I've always said it. I can only tell you what I'm seeing. I can't make things up, can I? Yeah, and at this point in time, Wilder's finished, and he know he finished as well. Yeah? I broke out laughing. You didn't broke out nothing. Yeah? You, you got... The only thing broke out was your back. Truth be known. The only thing broke out after that fight, Mr. Wilder, was your back from Joe Parker bending it up. Facts. Call me a liar. There's enough pictures. I did a video on it, or I did a, uh, a thumbnail. Wilder's like this on the ropes. His back's all bent, twist up over the ropes. Yeah? So there's nothing to laugh about it. Your back was broke out, my, my bro. Do you understand, people? Yeah? Your back... What, what he means to say is, my back was broke out by Joseph Parker over the ropes. That... And it's kind of like, what are you even watching AJ for? At this point. Joe Parker just blew your back out, and... You're sitting there talking about he happy. You should have been focusing on why he didn't handle your business. That's how I feel. And I've lost... I can't lie. I've lost respect for Wilder because... I've given credit, and that's why it's so difficult, really. And you have to respect people who are truly about it, right? I've given Wilder credit. Oh, Wilder has it. Wilder knows how to, or Wilder refuses to lose. Oops. It turns out most people, very few people, are able to consistently go to that place. Do you understand? Very few people are able to go there again and again and again. At some point, you just don't want it no more. In general, men. In 2023, they ain't made... Just think about, I don't know, a thousand years ago. They ain't made the same way. Soft times make for soft men. And that's what we're seeing here. When Wilder was broke and whatever... And actually, that's why I respect Terence Crawford. And again, we haven't seen Crawford tested yet. But still, he ain't fallen off. So I'm hoping, if there's anyone who's really about it, for me, it's Crawford. But still, 
it's Wilder guy. Where was the passion from Wilder? I think in round 12 he came out fighting to some extent, but too little too late. To go all out in round 12, it's like, well, what was you doing? Did you think he was winning the fight? It's almost a bit pathetic in that sense. Don't get me wrong, it's better than not. Some fighters, like, I think it was, I'm not sure actually, but yeah, some fighters, they're losing and they just kind of go out sad. Wilder, he had a little bit of an effort, but too little too late. Like, who are you trying to kid here? And you can, Wilder knows he lost because he didn't even complain, which I respect about. Wilder could have come out and said, oh, there was something, oh, that Joseph Parker trains with Fury and Fury put something in his glove or in his drink or whatever. But this really is a sign of how finished Wilder is. The fact he ain't even that bothered after losing. He's like, mm. so the whole March 9th thing, do I want to see it? Not watch it for free, kind of thing, one of them ones again. I'll watch Wilder and AJ fight for free. Who have I got winning the fight? I mean, obviously it's got to be AJ now, but it's one of them, and You just don't know. You just don't know. And that's why I really, unless something's really obvious, I'm not gambling no more. It's just too, nothing makes sense anymore. You know what I'm saying? For Joseph Parker to go in there and do what he did, I'm over it. Even AJ versus Wallen is kind of like, what? Don't make no sense, does it? And that, like, oh, Wallen's given it the big one before the fight. My hands are in the air. I was, yeah, Wallen, Wallen, Wallen. Wallen Fury. Oh, let's laugh at Ben Davidson. He go in there and do nothing. Yeah? He went in there and did none. Embarrassing ass, dude. Get him out, out of here. That's where he need to be. The only place he need to be is at. I don't want to see Wallen no more. I don't want to hear about Wallen no more. Wallen's been living off a fight 10 years ago for 10 years. And he gets in there, gets his shot. Shock him. Was it because AJ's that good? I don't know. Either way, sit down somewhere, 100%. Anyway, yep, the fight March 9th makes sense. From AJ's point of view, why not? If Wilder really think this is a whole, oh, it's a perfect way to get them out, what I will say is, I believed this fight was a 50-50 fight in terms of split. Forget about that now. Because of all due respect, AJ has delivered what he said he would do, in as much as... All, he, all either of these fighters had to do, no one can guarantee the knockout. All the Saudis expected was for AJ, was for AJ to win and for Wilder to win. That was it. That was the only expectation. And I assume from that point, the March 9th date would have been 50-50. Forget about that. Yeah, this fight is now a 60-40 fight. You did not deliver your side of the bargain. And hence... And I've got a feeling Wilder's going to still think that nothing's changed. Oh man, you know what? Uh, it's 50-50 in the bag and you know I did it on purpose. So, uh, you know, it's it's the fight still go on and I was luring him out. I could, uh, you know what I mean? No one's there. Oh, you no, know, the fight, it's still 50-50 because I lured him out. No, you didn't, Wilder, lure him out. You're a man who had pride or has pride. No man wants to lose a fight to lure another man out when the fight was already signed. Wait, make your mind up, Wilder. Wait, wait a minute. If the fight was already signed on March 9th, and hence the fight can still go on, why would you have needed to lure him out? Fair enough, yeah, if it's still up in the air. Oh, we can't get AJ to sign. You know what I'm saying? Fair enough. If, let's say, for example, two weeks ago, Wilder was saying, yeah, AJ don't want to put his pen on the paper. And then Wilder goes in there and looks dead. You, you could then come say, well, I did it on purpose, because no. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't believe it myself. I don't believe it. Wilder's been knocking bums out since time began. Do you understand? He, Wilder knows how to knock a bum out. He's been knocking bums out. So I don't believe that he's suddenly now, oh, I'm going to no, cut, cut the cap. Anyway, unbelievable delusional talk here. And I don't think it helped that 78 Sports TV is the leader of the LDBC. Bunch of gimps, essentially. Um, the Lions, then. I don't know, lines, the line stands boxing cucks, something like that. I don't know, one of them ones. And that didn't help because their man ain't with it either. No, I haven't watched the video, but I bet they were like, oh man, yeah, man. <laughs> well, AJ, he's scared and he been running. Yeah, man, we, we lure him out and we, we all that kind of stuff, all that rah rah. Anyway, let's see. What I will say is, I've got AJ beating Wilder now, but who knows? I won't be, from now on, I won't be shocked either way. Too many times I've been shocked. Chris Eubank Jr. sparked out by Liam Smith. 
Wilder mullet whopped by Joe Parker. It's just too much. Jarrell Miller mullet whopped by Daniel Dubois. <sighs> What's the point? What's the point thinking you know something? You don't, end of the day. It's impossible to know something about this game. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and let off the bell 100%, no doubt. Whoop.